Uh, last night, there was a private party that was at the San Leander Senior Community Center uh, in the 13900 block of East 14th Street. It was rented out by a family through the city of San Leandro for a first communion celebration. At about 7.35 last night, police officers were responding to a report of gunshots in the immediate area of the San Leandro Senior Center. And as they were responding, they came across an injury car collision in the intersection of 138th Avenue and East 14th Street, directly in front of that senior center. They stopped to tend to the victims in the uh, vehicle collision. They discovered that uh, an unknown amount of passengers that were in a gray minivan uh, that was fleeing from the senior center area had collided with a car driving down East 14th Street. The people in that minivan fled and have not yet been identified by police. The people in the vehicle were treated and released at the scene with minor injuries. And while the officers were investigating that, they were also directed to the front of the senior center uh, in which there was an adult male who had been shot. Paramedics responded and pronounced him deceased at the scene. Uh, the body was located uh, near the entry doors of the senior center. Right now we are trying to piece together whether or not that man was part of that party or if he was just passing by. We don't have a motive and at this time we're not releasing his name pending notification of the next of kin to make sure that the family is made aware first what happened to their loved one. Uh, that's there was a mention of surveillance video. Has that illuminated or given you more information? Uh, we do have surveillance video from the senior center. We are also checking surveillance video from neighboring businesses uh, in their neighborhood, uh, including all the routes in which the people in that van that crashed could have fled because right now we do not know whether or not they were involved in this homicide or whether or not they fled when they heard the gunshots and were just trying to get away to safety. Uh, some of the video at the senior center right now is being used by investigators to try to identify some of the witnesses that were there last night who may have also fled uh, prior to police arrival. So we're, we're not 100% sure this was a, a getaway car per se, the van, the van involved. This could have been someone just trying to get away because they heard gunfire. Correct, yeah, we, we do not know the involvement of that gray van that was speeding out of the parking lot. Um, investigating cases like this in the past, we know that when people hear gunfire like that, there's mass panic and people try to get away as soon as possible. They want to get away from the violence, they want to get themselves to safety. That very well could have been what this, uh, the involvement in this van was. Once it crashed, uh, the people that were in that van fled also, trying to get away further. We really don't know yet. But, but if the people haven't come forward yet to say, no one's come forward yet to say, this is my minivan, does that, does that raise a red flag? Correct. We do not have anybody that has come forward to say that that is their van at this time. Uh, but we are very interested in speaking to the owner of the vehicle and who, whoever may have been in that vehicle last night. Hopefully that will get us a little bit more information in this case to move forward to try to identify uh, who may be responsible for this horrific act here in San Leandro last night. Is there any GSR in the van, anything? Uh, the crime scene right now is being processed by the Alameda County Sheriff's Department Crime Lab. We do have criminalists on scene right now who are uh, marking and tagging evidence as well as collecting it for us. Uh, we use them because they are a very, very dedicated and highly trained team, especially in an area so large as this, spanning from the front of the senior center all the way across the street. Uh, in addition to being able to process that van and process the crime scene, they have uh, tools of technology that will help do the crime scene reconstruction so that we can piece all that together. Is there any, idea, any thought that this was gang related? Uh, we don't know that right now, whether or not this is gang related. However, uh, that is always an option that we explore right now and part of our investigation will be to look into the background of not only the person who was killed last night, but also some of the people at that party, and that is one avenue that could lead us into a different direction if, in fact, it is gang-related. Was there a disturbance inside of the uh, party? I don't know of any disturbance inside of the party. Everything did happen outside. Uh, from what we have seen in the security video so far, uh, the man that was uh, killed uh, was a uh, short distance away from the main entrance, but there were other adults and young children running around playing outside. So this could have been worse? This could have been much worse. Uh, we do not believe at, at all 
that this is a random act of violence. We do believe that this is uh, a targeted homicide, uh, and it was specific to the person that was killed last night. And we believe he was shot right in that location where he was found, right? Or right outside, right close to the entrance? Very, very close to the entrance. Uh, there is a, a paved path that goes along the side of the building there that would take you to and from East 14th Street. Uh, so we don't know whether or not maybe he was passing through the area or if he was part of the party and just congregating outside like many of the other adults and children that are out playing. The two vehicles, are either vehicles stolen? Do we know anything about the vehicles? Uh, no reports of either of the two vehicles being stolen. Uh, we question whether or not that gray van that got in the collision where the people fled, we wonder whether or not uh, they were fleeing once again from the party itself after hearing the gunshots or if it is directly involved in this. The second vehicle that was struck in the intersection on East 14th has absolutely no connection uh, to last night's incident. It merely was traveling down East 14th Street uh, when this van collided with them. So the SUV, or the SUV has nothing to do with the victim? Uh, well, the, the minivan that crashed, once again, we do not know what its relationship is to this party or if it just heard the gunshots. Uh, the other vehicle, I'm not sure what that was, but it was struck as it was traveling on East 14th Street. No relationship whatsoever to the party. How many homicides have there been since the beginning of the year? This is the second homicide for San Leandro for the 2016 calendar year. Uh, the first one was uh, Pastor Isaiah Bostick, which was just a few, mo few months ago in the 900 block of Wana Avenue. All right, thanks. Thanks. Okay, I'll send you guys an update as soon as possible. Uh, how, how big was that uh, gathering? The, you know, uh, I'm being told somewhere in the area of uh, about 80 to 100 people last night. Yeah. And it was a <coughs> confirmation? Or a first communion. First communion. Yeah. Local family, local... I, I don't know yet. And do you know if the victim is from San Leandro or elsewhere? I do not believe the victim is from San Leandro. Okay. Um, and once again, we're trying to interview all the people that were there last night. And obviously, uh, the one thing that we're looking for, people that were at that party that saw something, if they've not yet spoken to our detectives, to please contact us so that we can try to get that information. It's very important for us to solve this as soon as possible. Thank you, All right. Thank you.